it, I'm having a hard time to believe a very educated, a very uh, attractive uh, woman out of 41 years have not met Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's enough time to find a lot of things out. I bet. Right. And yet, mm -hmm. no kids, mm -hmm. single. Mm -hmm. I'm not, but I am saying, mm -hmm. how, are women's expectations unrealistic? No, I'm going to say, like I said on Nick, the question shouldn't be why isn't a woman of age, of success, of a certain caliber, not married with kids. The question should be why are people rushing to the altar just to become divorcees or baby mamas and baby daddies? Mm -hmm. I think, if anything, we need to be teaching our society, take your time, young man or young woman, so that you can get to know not just this person but yourself first, so that you can choose a life partner, not that that person isn't exempt to divorce, instead of rushing to the altar just to become a divorcee or a baby mama and have multiple kids by multiple women, just to say you have broken families everywhere, mm -hmm. um, I don't see no benefit in that. I believe, like I tell my brother, he's in here, Shane, all the time, and who's 31 with no kids and doing well for himself, take your time. You don't need to rush to an altar just to divorce this woman. And another thing is people who actually feel high-valued within themselves, not financially, internally they feel high-valued, they're not rushing to have a wife or a husband at the expense of divorce just to feel like they've added value to themselves. Because it's a deficit if you're marrying for the wrong purposes. It is an asset if you're marrying from a place of creating a family, of creating stability, of raising kids who can see this thing move and this house not be homeless, but this house have wealth in it, the real wealth that actually sustains. And so for me, I'd rather take my time choosing then end up doing time because I'm making wrong decisions. I'm good. It sounds good, but it's terrible advice. She doesn't live in reality. On another clip I actually watched of her, she actually expressed that she wants to have children one day. And based on this video clip right here, he was alluding to the fact that I think that she was 41 years old. We all know that, well, not all of us, geriatric pregnancy is typically around 35 years old, which means that you're at high risk for having children. A lot of complications when you start having children after 35 years old. She's 41. So to tell people to, so to tell women to take your time is terrible advice, and we all know that, right? And she really did not answer the question because she said she had to find herself and she didn't want to get divorced and baby mom and that, all that type of things like that. Those are good reasons. But the people of the 50s and 60s didn't have to find themselves and they weren't baby mamas and things like that. They had to figure it out at age 19, 20, 21. They were getting married and having full families at the age of 18, 19, and 20, 21 and stuff like that. And I ain't even talk about like living in apartments. They had houses back then at age 20. Maybe, just maybe the solution to having longevity in a relationship is having the knowledge on how to do that right. We go to college to learn how to do any other job correctly. We literally go through training. When we get a product, we have instructions on how to build it and how to make it function. Technology, whatever it is, we go through training, schooling, or we read instructions. But when it comes to this relationship stuff, we don't ask none of the old heads who got it right how to do it. We don't never ask none of the great grandmoms or the grandmothers who've been married for 50 to 60 years, how did you do it? We got all this new age stuff. Man, come on now. She's a highly intelligent woman. I do respect her, but she's very delusional in that one thing right there that she's talking about, bro.